Mm. Today we're making a cane and table Miami Vice, a cocktail created during the pandemic times. Do you remember them? Yeah, I hope you do. I found one on the punch drinks. It's a fantastic recipe. If you go to punchdrinks.com and you search for a cane and tables Miami Vice, you see what I'm talking about. I'm pretty much following the recipe with uh, obviously different roms, which I have on the shelf. And I kind of like it. Not a big fan of pina coladas, but I kind of like it. And it's made with a in-house home, not homemade, but yes, prepared, following the instruction there, a lovely coconut cream. So stick around till the end of the video because I'm gonna put a little snippet how to prepare this coconut cream for this recipe and for many others if you like to have kind of a different upgrades on the pina colada. But for now, let's see the ingredients for the Canaan Tables Miami Vice. start with a white rum. I will be using a white spice rum. This is an Indian rum, fantastic quality, but you can use your favorite. Then we need, for the other part of the cocktail, we need any aged good rum. I'm gonna go with Flor de Cana, 12 years old, because it's very smooth and it's worked perfect in cocktails. Then we need a coconut cream. As I mentioned, stay until the end of the video to find out how to make your own fantastic coconut cream for the cocktails. We need lime juice, we need pineapple juice, and we need some strawberries. In fact, we need just one for the cocktail and one for a garnish, and maybe some pineapple as well for a garnish. So, if you're ready, let's build. Now the cocktail is blent and it's served in the hurricane glass. So first of all, we're gonna start with the bottom part of the cocktail, and we start with our white rum, one ounce and a half or a 45 ml of your rum, straight away in the blender. Then we have one ounce and a half of the pineapple juice, 45 ml again. One ounce and a half of the coconut cream or a 45 ml again. It's a wonderful thick coconut cream made in house. Don't forget, end of the video, it's gonna drop the recipe how to make it. Okay. And the original recipe required one and a quarter ounce of the lime juice, but I found it a little bit kind of a going on the zesty side. So I'm just gonna go with a one ounce. There you go. Which is 30 mil in my case, kind of a roughly. Okay, we all know that one ounce is not exactly 30 mil, but just rounding up the things. Now we need some crushed ice. I'm gonna put three of my spoons, give it a quick spin and I'll see if it's enough creamy. Let's go. a little bit watery so I'm gonna add a little bit more of ice. We want the bottom part to be really nice and creamy but not overly iced if that's even a word. Okay, I'm happy with this so we're gonna grab our hurricane glass and we need to pour the first part of the cocktail in the hurricane glass because we're gonna use the blender. I think I put a little bit too much ice. Or maybe my hurricane glass is not big enough, but we'll figure it out. Now directly in the blender, I'm gonna leave it as it is because everything's gonna mix up anyway. I'm gonna go with one and a half ounce of the dark rum. This is where we need our strawberry, so just one strawberry. 
directly inside in the blender. And let's blend again. Okay, let's clear up a little bit here. Everything on the side. Let's pour the top of the cocktail. There we go. Wonderful. As I mentioned, uh, it's left a little bit more from the beginning, but that's absolutely fine. For a garnish, a lovely fresh strawberry on the top. A little pineapple froth. Just gonna punch it to the strawberry on the back. Finally, we need a lovely bamboo straw. And there you have it. Cane and Tables Miami Vice. Right, for the coconut cream, what you need? You need 400 ml of a coconut milk, preferably full fat coconut milk. Then we need 400 grams of white sugar. We need Xanthan gum, which is basically a thickener and stabilizer and foamer. So we need just a pinch of it. And we need organic virgin coconut oil. Just a bar spoon of it. So first you need to do it's 400 ml of the coconut milk measure 400 ml in one like a measuring jar there you go and you put it in your pan now bear in mind you don't need to boil you need to bring just to the medium temperature not boiling at all okay so I'm just gonna bring it to a warm and this is where you're gonna put the xanthan gum and the virgin coconut oil. So when the coconut milk starts warming up, but just before boiling, you don't need to boil yet. All you need to do is first of all, get a pinch of the xanthan gum. So what I'm gonna do is just basically on top of my bar spoon, just a little bit, just like a pinch. I don't know how many grams it is, but just roughly like just a top of the bar spoon okay and then you're gonna get your coconut virgin oil and it's one quarter of a spoon which is going to be around a bar spoon again but I'm gonna put just a little bit more because I like to have a little bit more dominant flavor of the coconut oil there you go we're gonna give it a good stir we need to make sure the xanthan gum it's incorporated perfectly in the milk inside and also the virgin oil the coconut oil it's mixed and now we can bring it slowly to the boil while you're stirring all the time you need this xanthan gum to be proper incorporated inside so once the milk starts boiling we're gonna start adding the sugar like gradually just stir all the time and make sure you help to dissolve the sugar because what's gonna happen it's soon the sugar it's in and it's dissolved we're gonna take it out from the heat and leave it to cool down before we use it in the cocktail so there you go a little bit more left here give it a good stir make sure the sugar is dissolved take it out from the heat soon it's dissolved the sugar and give it a, a quick blending or mixture so you make sure the xanthan gum it's proper incorporated in the mixture and leave it to cool down so you have a wonderful creamy coconut cream okay let's taste this beauty i can't wait it's kind of a shouting holiday mm. i have to admit i'm usually kind of a run away from frozen drinks and slushies or whatever you call them. It's very rare occasion I enjoy, but particularly when I'm on holiday. But this one is very refreshing, very light, very easy to go and kind of a, enjoy because it's not a concentration too much of the coconut, it's present, you have this pineapple vibe, you have the lovely feeling from the room. It's kind of a, like a, I don't know, more lighter version of a pina colada. And the top, obviously, you can mix it, 
it's more about presentation serving it like this in kind of a two split colors because the top is more rom presence with a little bit of the strawberry like flavor but it's basically more on the rom side and as i mentioned the floor de cania works fantastic because it's very smooth and very fruity and it's fantastic for cocktails so i hope you enjoy guys uh, i'm gonna do another cocktail probably next week again with the coconut cream because once it's made it needs to be used and i don't like throwing things in the sink it's fantastic so i hope you're gonna make it uh, following the instructions or if you're not bothered just get a nice coconut cream and just make the cocktail but for now enjoy whatever you do and I'll see you next week with another cocktail which is gonna be again kind of a pina colada thing but it with sherry okay see you next time until then as always I love you and I leave you bye bye